Well, speaking of racing, the Flat Rock Speedway hosting the annual Joy Fair Memorial last night for the first time in several years. Midwest Modified Tour making a stop in Southeast Michigan as well as figure eight race. All the excitement coming your way on Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. right here on BCSN. Until then, CJ Perry and Steve Ronkowitz drop the checkered flag on the big night of racing. Before the 2023 edition of the Joy Fair Memorial 100 started, the question was posed, is it going to be Brian Bergaker, Brian Bergaker, or Brian Bergaker? And Steve, <laughs> Brian Bergaker stepped up to win trophy number four in this race. I tell you what, nobody knows this place as well in these big events as Brian Bergaker does. He just absolutely finds a way to get it done. Took him to lap 40 of a 100-lap race to get himself into the lead, but once he did, he was just absolutely terrific on every restart. There was just nobody was going to catch him after that. Max Fair had the pole position. Connor Zabosian, great young gun, did well but fell by the wayside. Paul Pelletier, a veteran as well. It just seems that whatever Brian Bergaker does and knows about this track, nobody can stop him. And each year, the number of laps he has led increases. So that might be scary for 2024. Yeah, might as well just put him out there in lap one, put him on the pole and just let him go. And then everybody else in their class can race and see where they end up. In the Midwest Modified Tour, Mike Acapinti. You talk about the one man who could hold off Brian Bergaker. He held off great drivers like Brian Nestor as well, Mike Liberta. Uh, Mike Acapinti, wire to wire, 50 laps. What a great job he did out here in the Modified. Yeah, again, it was one of those things where he would just really good on restarts. There weren't a lot of them in the Modified race, but when there were, he was able to just absolutely judge how he wanted to get out. Everybody else was behind him, and they just couldn't catch up to him. He had the horsepower in that machine today. Just really a good race for him. And you can always tell his grandkids that he held off Brian Bergaker in a feature. Our final race of the evening in the figure eights, Dennis Wisman Jr. Once he got to where he needed to be in that pack of race cars, it was just good night for Wisman Jr. Yeah, Wisman Sr. started out, he was running really well, and then all of a sudden just kind of fell back in the pack, and it was Jr. from that point on, the Rebelito, as we like to call him. I tell you what, he went to the front of the pack, and again, nobody could catch him, just absolutely found his way around that racetrack. A couple of close calls in the intersection, but he found his way. And a complete inversion of the field, Greg Stute, who was quick qualifier, put at the back of the pack, could not work his way all the way to the front, so Dennis Wisman Jr. gets that victory. But the big winner of the night, of course, in the 100 lap, Joy Fair Memorial Race, Brian Bergaker wins trophy number four, and then eight out of nine in the big shows at Flat Rock Speedway.